Thank you. This is a tremendous honor, and I, I was hoping that I didn't have to go first so that I could hear what someone else was going to say. So, I, you know, I had a very interesting experience in, in coming to Grand Valley because I came to Grand Valley twice. I came in 1989 straight out of high school, and this, I don't know how many people may have been here back then. As far as I understand it, I think that it had only become a university a few years before that. It was a very small college at that time. It didn't have the uh, national reach that I, I believe that it has now. And for a variety of reasons, I stayed for about two months. I didn't even finish a semester. And I decided to leave college. And that was a big uh, decision for me because I was very academic in high school. I, I, at the time, wasn't thinking medicine. I was a advertising and computer science major. I had been a musician in school and an artist, and I, I saw a creative outlet for myself. And I took seven years off from college and did a variety of things, from washing cars at a car dealership, to making pizzas and delivering pizza, to selling sunglasses at the mall, to working with a small company in Ann Arbor that was designing a line of sunglasses using a very proprietary uh, form of technology. And it was while I was with that company, a very small company, there were six of us, very well funded. Uh, the owner of that company was a Japanese individual who had, his family had roots in Nissan in Japan. And so we had access to a lot of his family's money. And we had a great product. Um, but I wasn't happy that I didn't have a college degree. And I made the decision to leave. And I, I came back over to this side of the state and originally auditioned for a, a spot in the School of Music. Uh, in composition, and I was accepted, and then very gracefully bowed out of that about a week later and <laughs> came over to the School of, of Biomedical Sciences because by that point in time I had developed an interest in medicine, and I realized that I was always going to have music, you know, that, that wasn't going to be taken away, I could continue to grow, but if I wanted to be a physician, I needed to go through the proper channels to do that. And um, so I came to this department and I started off in biomedical sciences and, and at first I met a, a wonderful professor who's no longer with the school from the Department of Chemistry, David Van Dyke. And I started doing some research with him when Water Resources Institute was up on the third floor. And when I say research, it was really a lot of trying to get our equipment to work. But it was a wonderful experience because Dr. Van Dyke was always there. He was always approachable. And it turned out his wife was a family practice physician, and through knowing David, I got to meet his wife, Rebecca, and spend some time in her clinic, and that helped foster my experience. About a year and a half later, I, I met Dr. Capitolupo and decided that I wanted a change in, in research, and having had some of his classes and seeing how passionate he was about teaching, I approached him about doing research, and we, we started a, a year and a half long venture in his lab using rat brain models, looking at various uh, neuro, neurodegenerative disorders. And I ended up having, over the course of the three years that I was here, 96 to 99, uh, presented three different times at the Student Scholarship Day and a couple of regional uh, conferences that John took us to as well. That ability to to do research so closely with someone, albeit not publishing anything monumental or not accomplishing anything that seemed significant in terms of clinical contribution, but certainly for me, carried on into that level of inquiry that I took into graduate school and medical school. And I did research all through graduate, medical, and residency. It was, was mentioned there are several papers that I published and all of that started here. So I'm very thankful. <laughs>